Hi, my name is Evana Jiha binti Abdul Razak, nombor Matrix 07DKA20F2005. Hello everyone, my name is Dayang Salia and I'm from DKA3B. And my registration number is 07DKA20F2027. My name is Rips Elbin Richard and my node metric is 07DKA20F2035. My name is Max Dean Pavian. My registration number is 07DKA20F2091. Saturday morning of June 27, 2009 at 13th Story Apartment Building, Lian Hunan Road in the Minhan District of Shanghai City is the day of Ray Foundation Fellow where the two buildings are identical to each other and generally it's rare that building is collapsed due to foundation failure unless it is constructed on expensive soil. Uh, initially, it, initially it, was, uh, it was thought that a 70 meter section of the flood prevention wall near Bidianpur River might have triggered this building. But as the figure 3.1 shows, the disaster happened because the block was led uh, alongside a river and the structure comprised of precast concrete pipes. While excavating sub-level parking near the block heap, uh, the other side of the earth up to 10 meter high, therefore the weight of the overburdened earth created a pressure which led to a shift in the soil structure and fell off the piles. Eventually, rainwater caused the soil, soil erosion uh, around foundation which we can up the foundation and causing them to fall. So uh, generally, it is rare that a building is collapsed due to a foundation failure, unless it is constructed on expensive soil. That's all. So today, I will present about the cause of failure. The cause of the building collapse in Shanghai was due to a pressure different on two sides of the structure, where excavated earth on this one side and pile up earth and water table on the other side, exerting differential pressure on the on the pile. At this case, the pile capacity ex exceeded, then fell. Plus, the building top in mass. In generally, the failure is caused by careless ex excavation in purpose of providing underground car park, where the ex excavation in is too near to the building. In detail, an excavation for underground garage was made on the salt side to, to a dip of 4.6 meter without any support for the earth wall. Next, the excavated earth was piled up on the north side to a height of 10 meter. The building experienced and even later, lateral pressure from the south and north. This was due to uh, overburdened pressure and erosion of soil in the pit adjacent to the building as a result of a heavy rain. This, resu this resulted in a lateral pressure of 3,000 tons, which was greater than the capacity of the concrete pile, thus the building top of over is totally Lee direct direction. Okay, today I want to present about analysis and design minhood used by the building. Okay, first is the location of the site was not the idea for high risk construction has its worst just below soft soil radiation of the river bank. This resulting in concentration of flow, high velocity, and turbulence toward the river bank. This resulted into crack in the nearby flood prevention wall. Okay, point number two: improper selection of construction minhood and construction companies ignorance toward the risk during the development work caused by the wall building and equipment loss okay, point number three 
improper safety and stability inspection of the site and surrounding building as per the international building guideline the factor of safety should be more than the, the third one and the last point improper design and construction did not follow it according to the IBC problem solving recommendation site survey should be properly done properly detailed surfacing should be conducted for the site as well as the surrounding area to know the soil profile and soil stabilization because of the location of the site engineers should be precisely consider the geological properties <coughs> environment property before designing any building Advanced foundation technique should be adopted while construction in weak soil condition. Taking into consideration of the proximity near to the river, proper design and construction method should be followed according to the International Building Standard IBC to reduce the risk of failure. Permission regarding any construction or excavation should not be given without examining all the aspects of the site condition. Okay. And the last thing is conclusion. In conclusion, when the piles capacity exceeded, the piles fell and the building top led in mass, resulting in a rare foundation failure. Plus, engineers should take a note of the le lesson learned from this failure and avoid such mistake in future also we can just that each problem has a way of overcoming it or thought this accident in due to a natural problem but has the responsible party must take uh, the initiative to always find a solution to deal with this accident thank you